Now, over the years, technology has shrunk most things in our lives, but not the size of our televisions. The days of a family huddled around a tiny screen are long gone, and our screens keep on growing with 40, 50, and even 60-inch screens readily available. And now TV manufacturers are going even further, with screens double that size, as our arts correspondent David Silito reports. The TV, the small screen, the box to sit around, an idea that's being challenged. Just drag that top bar from right to left. Welcome to one vision of the future, wallpaper TV that surrounds you. Controlled by a tablet device, this prototype throws any content in any size onto walls lined with ultra-thin screens. You actually feel as though you're stepping into it, you get that IMAX effect. For Simon Parnell, a man described as a thought leader for the future of TV, the 130-inch movie screen is the future. Well, just look at how sharp that is. The television as a box in your room. It's over, isn't it? Oh, I think so. So what's it going to be? Television's going to inhabit our homes uh, in a way that is unobtrusive. It's going to blend into our environment. And one thing's already definitely happening. Televisions certainly are getting an awful lot bigger. Take this particular television. If you measure it corner to corner, it is 85 inches. That's the equivalent of four 42-inch televisions. The price, £35,000. But prices have a habit of shrinking. What we expect by the end of the decade is that about a third of all TV sets sold will be jumbo size, so it's 43 inches or larger. And within there, there'll be a good proportion which are 60, 80, or even 100 inches in size. But there are doubters about the jumbo future. Covering the house with screens doesn't seem to resonate yet with consumers, no. TV consultant Damien Reed says research shows 60 inches is a natural limit. So how far away should we be standing to watch ourselves here? So for a 60 inch screen, you're typically looking at 15 feet, which is quite a big size. Bigger than most British? Bigger than most British living rooms today, yes. Of course, this 15 foot ideal viewing distance may for some be a matter of opinion. Indeed, the whole heart of this debate isn't technology, it's us. Just how much of our living space, indeed our lives, do we really want screened? David Solito, BBC News.